Let us explore each of the six attributes briefly. Variable names follow same naming conventions to that of SAS naming conventions that we have learned previously. Variable types, it can be character or numeric. Character variables such as name can contain any character that you can make with your keyboard like that of letters, numbers and even these symbols. Numeric variables, on the other hand, such as subject ID, height and weight can contain only numeric values, namely the digits 0 through 9, a positive sign, a negative sign, a decimal place and the capital letter E for scientific notation. Variable length. It gives information about how many bytes are used to store the variable in your computer's memory. Character variable can be up to 32,767 bytes long. Whereas, all numeric variables have a default length of 8. Numeric values, no matter how many digits they contain, are stored as floating point numbers in 8 bytes of storage unless you specify a different length. As here you can see that our all numeric variables by default are having length of 8. Another thing you might have noticed about our dataset above is that some information in the dataset is missing. That's okay. SAS can handle missing data. What SAS displays when a value is missing depends on the variable's type. As suggested by the above dataset, SAS displays a blank space for a missing character value and a period for a missing numeric value. Variables formats and in formats. We will learn about these two attributes in greater detail later in this course. Variables format tells SAS how to write a variable's value in specific form. That is, how you would like your variable's values displayed in reports, that is, output. For example, you might want to tell SAS to display the value 8520 as $8520.00 or maybe in commas instead. Variable in formats tells SAS how to read data values having a special form into standard SAS values. Variable labels. By default, many of the standard reports in SAS identify variables by their variable names. You can instead tell SAS to display more descriptive information about the variable by assigning a label to the variable that is descriptive label up to 256 characters long. Example, the variables height and weight were given the more descriptive labels of height in centimeter and weight in kg respectively as you can see here. Let us now interact with the SAS Windows environment so that we can start with writing and running our own SAS programs. That's it for now. See you in next lecture.